America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, secret agents are often called to all parts of the world to guard against the activities of spies. It is the story of such a task performed by my old friend Agent Z, which I bring to you now. It happened in the Europe of today, but it might have taken place on any continent, for it is the story of war supplies being transported to strengthen a nation's defense. As usual, John Holbrook will introduce the story. Thank you, K-7. Today, the nations of the world are strengthening their defenses. As a result of this activity, planes, tanks, long-range guns, every type of armament is being moved, and spies are alert. In one country, spies were paid to prevent this activity and thus weaken a nation's defenses. Our story opens as Special Agent Z and his assistant, Patricia Norwood, called on an important military official by appointment. Yes, sir. Whom do you wish to see, sir? Miss Patricia Norwood and Special Agent Z to see General Rodeman. Yes, sir. He's expecting you. This door, sir. This is Special Agent Z, sir. Special Agent Z, I'm glad to know you. And I'm glad to know you, General. May I present my assistant, Patricia Norwood? Miss Norwood, this is most pleasant. Now, if you will both be seated. Uh, thank you, General. Naturally, General, we're both a little curious. Of course, of course. Perhaps this cable will explain. It is from one who seems to be a mutual friend, K-7. Read it. K-7? Well, I wondered how you contacted us. Now, let's see. Get in touch with Agent Z at Continental Hotel. He is the only man near you who can undertake mission. Well, this explains, General. Then it is my turn, is it not? Your assistant is very curious. Is that not true, mademoiselle? I'm afraid it is. Very well. The facts are these. My country has recently ordered great quantities of planes and munitions from outside sources. That fact is pretty well known. Yes, too well known. Now, special agency, we are not a warlike people. We want only to strengthen our defenses to ensure peace. I believe our foreign policy reflects that attitude. Yes, I believe you, now, General. Here are the facts. The armaments which we ordered are ready for delivery. Our plan was to send a special train to the coast. As a matter of fact, we would be forced to use two trains. We hope to keep their movement secret. And the information is leaked out? Yes. One of our intelligence officers, L-21, heard of a plot to wreck these trains and thus weaken our defense. He made one report to this office. Here it is. Yeah, let me see it. Hold train at seaport until further word from me. Plot to sabotage under investigation. Believe leader to be Sturm Walters. More tomorrow. I know Sturm Walters, General. Z? Yes? That message is dated last week and ended it with the words, more tomorrow. Uh, have you his next report, General? That was L-21's last message to us, Miss Norwood. He was found murdered the day after I received it. Murdered? Uh, that's like Sturm Walters. He's ruthless. Z, will you attempt this case? We will give you every cooperation. It is dangerous, yes, but... If any man can see those munitions reach their destination, you can. I will feel safer with you working with our intelligence department. General, I'll help you if I can. It isn't hard to guess what power is behind this plot. My sympathies are with your government. Miss Norwood's are the same. We'll take the case. next hour, Z collected all the information available. Then he and Pat went to his rooms to study maps and make plans. Pat, the more I study these maps, the surer I am that there are but two danger spots. Now, here, look. You see this cut through the mountains? Yes. A landslide there would destroy the munitions train and block the line for many months. But there are other routes. Yes, but they are much longer. However, the fact that there are other routes makes me suspect the second danger point is the vital one. Where is that, Zee? Here, this tunnel. It's one of the longest in the world. Now, if that tunnel were destroyed, the railroad would be crippled. Now, let's look at this map closer. Yes, here's something. This railroad map shows a small spur at the northern end of the tunnel. Yes, that will prove valuable. What are you thinking, Z? That I know our plan of action. Now, Pat, get packed and be ready to leave here within an hour. All right. We're going to that tunnel and establish headquarters there. A few minutes later, several orders cracked out. An old and weather-beaten 
the boxcar is to be put at the disposal of special agency. It is to be backed into the spore at the northern end of the tunnel and left there. That is all. A squadron of bombers, accompanied by scout planes, will patrol the cuts until after both munitions trains have passed. Keep in constant touch with special radio station 2LLV. That is all. During the time both munition trains are in motion, all train dispatches will receive direct orders from special agency through special radio equipment. That is all. These preparations were elaborate, and they were speedily put into operation. The next morning, the two munitions trains were ordered to start their long trip. Z and Patricia Norwood made their headquarters in the boxcar at the northern end of the tunnel. Well, it's 3.30, Pat. Our work will be over in another hour. Z? Yes? Do you think the trains will get through? Yes, Pat, I think they will. Here's another call. Plane 301 calling special radio station 2LLB. Come in. Go ahead, plane 301. Train number one has passed through the cut safely. Train number two following. There has been no threat of danger. Good, plane 301. Report when second train is through. That is all. That means that both trains will be here soon. Yes. And once we get them through the tunnel, our work is practically over. What's that? I'll explain later. Count the number of times that bell rings. That was one, two, three, four... Four. I guess that's all. Well, what does it mean, Z? It means that four men have just entered the tunnel, Pat. I installed an electric eye at both ends of the tunnel. As each man walks in front of the electric eye, our bell rang. Now we know that four men are in the tunnel. Could it be Sturm Walters? I hope that Walters is with them. We've got work to do, Pat. Now, quick, look on that chart. What are the call letters in number five dispatcher's office? Wait. Here they are. Yes? 3X19 Special. I'll call them. Special radio station 2LLB calling special station 3X19. Special radio station 2LLB calling special station 3X19. Come in. This is 3X19. Orders, 3X19. Have both munitions trains, both trains, one and two, switched onto siding. Send the special train which I prepared for emergency use through at once. I will come aboard at northern end of tunnel. That is all. Two munitions trains will be switched onto a siding at once. Your special emergency train is coming through. What's the emergency train, Z? It's made up to look exactly like the first munition train, Pat. Now listen, you have your pistol? Yes. I want you to go to the northern end of the tunnel and keep watch. If any men come out of the tunnel, arrest them and bring them here. You understand? Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to stay here for a minute. I have two more messages to send out. And then I'll get aboard the emergency train as it passes and go into the tunnel with it. And one caution, Pat. Don't enter the tunnel under any circumstances. I won't. And good luck. I'll meet you back here later. Keep out of sight. Pat made her way to the mouth of the tunnel and took up her job of watching. However, she was not the only guard on duty. Walters had also left a man on guard. He saw Pat and cautiously crept up behind her. What was that? Who's there? Drop your gun, mademoiselle. You're covered. Drop it, I said. All right. What do you want? Keep your hands over your head. Walk into the tunnel. Get started. It's dangerous. Keep moving. I think Walters will want to talk to you. Keep your hands over your head as you walk. Pat was taken to almost the center of the long tunnel. There she saw four men working. They'd pried great rocks loose from the sides of the tunnel and piled them across the tracks. I found her at the entrance of the tunnel, Walters. So you're a spy. What are you working for? That's none of your business, Walters. And I will make it my business. Tie her up. Put her over at the side. Come on. You'll never get away with this, Walters. Never say, mademoiselle. I haven't time to talk to you now. The munitions train is coming. It's too bad that you must be sacrificed. Fire up. All right, take your positions, men. You man took. Wave the red lantern. Young, the dynamite. Open the second car and throw it in. The explosives are in car two. Throw up your hands, Walters. You're under arrest. So... 
You were riding on a locomotive agency. You're too late. You had better run for your life. Dynamite is being placed in car number two. What was that? Your men have been taken prisoners, Walters. This isn't the munitions train. It's one sent through to trap you. Here, Captain. This man is Walters. Arrest him. Hurry. The tunnel is filling with smoke. Yes, sir. <coughs> Hurry, men. We've got to get out of here. The smoke from the engine will choke us. See? Huh? See? Where are you? Pat! Pat! What are you doing here? I was taken prisoner. They're, they're going to blow up the train. No, they're not, Pat. I have men concealed in every car. Walters and his men have all been seized. I haven't time to untie you. I'll pick you up and run. We've got to get out of here now. Hang on! Had the master spy Walters been successful, a great nation's defenses would have been weakened to a point where invasion might have been possible. As it was, Agent Z saved the situation. Today, all is quiet within the country. Perhaps war was averted. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.